Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Logic Pro Expert. Friend of the blog, Rex Struther, has some old recordings that he's working on restoring. They're from the 80s, and they were recorded with drum machines, and the tempo fluctuates. And what I'm doing for him is taking these, putting them into Logic, using Smart Tempo and Flex as a means of evening out the tempo so that he can add some new elements to these mixes and kind of bring them back to life. So I want to show you my workflow. So this is the track I was sent. Hey, baby. Starts off like that. Yes, Let's just jump around a bit. Unless you count college. Already has a song. Does it have a video? So my first job that I want to do is use smart tempo to create a tempo map, and then I can use flex to even it out to a consistent tempo. That way Rex will be able to add drum loops and different elements if he wants to enhance the arrangement. So I'm going to start off actually by going to the project settings and in smart tempo, I like working with beats rather than smooth because we get a finer resolution. Now, my next strategy is to line up the first downbeat on a bar, which is right here. Okay, so I want to line that up with bar three. Let me just eyeball it first and I'm going to zoom in and just make sure that the transient lines right up. All right, that's pretty good. Now with that done, I'm gonna open up the Smart Tempo Editor. And as expected, there's nothing analyzed yet. So I'm gonna analyze it and it will just take a moment or two. And there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is just open up the global track so I can see what's gonna be going on with the tempo. It's at the default 120 right now. But I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go apply region tempo to project tempo. And we'll just apply. And there we go. So let's listen with the click and see where we're at. Hey, baby. Don't you live in sea and beach? Yeah. Okay, the click seems to be on, but it's just not starting or lined up on the downbeat. That's not difficult to fix. Hey, baby. Okay, so I want this to be right at bar three. I'm going to switch to adapt mode so that I can drag this around and the tempo changes will follow. I'm going to close up the editor for the moment. And again, I'm just going to eyeball this to start with. See the way all the tempo changes follow along? That's what adapt mode does. Just going to zero right in there. All right, that's fine. So now let's listen with the click. Don't you live in sea and beach? Yes, it's true. So you can see how the tempo is fluctuating. Yes, let's just jump around. Not us. Not me. So smart tempo has done a good job. Not me. So here it seems to be more consistently around 94 BPM. And here it's hovering around. I'm going to choose 93 and we'll set it all to that. So it'll be consistent and even throughout. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this tempo set. and want to save this just as a backup. And I'm going to just name this like that. So now what I'm going to do is turn flex on. And I'm going to open up my editors and go to the tempo editor. And there are all our tempo changes, of course. And even when we're at 94, there's all kinds of fluctuations just from old drum machines not running perfectly in sync. So I'm going to select all and just command click to deselect the first, delete them all, type in 93 there. And we should be good. So let's listen. He's such a hug. It's a quiet little town. So far, so good. Sounds good. So that's great. So now all I need to do is bounce this out and then I can send it to him and he can add in, as I say, drum machine parts, rather looped content. So what I'm going to do is just Go command U to set my cycle zone, but I'm going to bring this all the way back to bar one because he's working in a different DAW. He's working in Pro Tools. So he can just take this bounced file and slip it in at bar one and he'll have a couple of bars of silence, but then right at bar three, the downbeat will come in. So I'm just going to call it my bounce dialog box now. And we all know how this part goes. Select the format 
and bounce it and name it and send that out. So that's really all there is to it. So there's a very elegant and simple workflow using smart tempo to calculate a tempo map from a wild recording, could be a live recording, multi-track recording, it works just as easily. And then using flex to even it out to a constant tempo. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert.